It's a good plan. I'm glad I thought of it. Mistletane, wasn't that the first weapon? No, I made that up. Where have I heard that before, though? Is that one of the relic weapons in 14? I'm gonna check. It's not a relic weapon, it's just a plain old... It's the thing that drops from the airy? Drops in the airy. White mage weapon. Curious. Uh, don't put it on, idiot. Is the final boss at the end of this hallway? Who knows? The sword in an Icelandic story. But it's like a mage weapon in this and 14. That's where Eden sits. Controlling all the other cocoon thousand. How do you know that? It's also where we'll How do you know that? The battery that keeps Eden running. Good to know. So what's the plan? Your usual plan. Charge in through the front door. What else? I'm going to attack head on. What are you, where are you going? <laughs> what is wrong? We surrender. Ten guys with guns. We don't stand a chance. I don't think our backup is happy to see us. <laughs> Might break a sweat. Oh, oh, look at you. Wait, are they fighting each other? Are they? They're just standing there. I mean, I, I guess I can go around. I guess I can go around you. Nope. to everything. Oh no, that's because he's got a debuff on him. Okay. does not take a lot of damage. We're hitting him for mere thousands. Maybe this will work better. Right, we should 
heal up a little bit before he staggers. Heal hope as well. Continue healing hope. Staggered now. This is our chance to do all of the damage. See, there's that stagger gauge that builds up, and once it's full, they are uh, able to be knocked around and stunned and juggled. And they also continue to take increasingly more damage the more times you hit them during the stagger, until eventually it caps out at 999.9% increased damage. But it's only until the, the stagger wears off, which it will be shortly. Didn't quite kill it. Can I go Sentinel and have her tank? Or is it still going to hit us with flamethrowers? Okay, no, this is good. Flamethrowers are just missing everyone because she's standing too close? I don't know what's going on. We killed it. Zero stars. Screw you too. I think I did a great job. doing a good job tanking, but she's gonna die. Just kidding, they're gonna die. Jeez. Wow. Karaja, <laughs> do it. Do it! Thanks. You did it. Are we attacking the right one, even? Doesn't matter. A <laughs> whole group of Tifas. <laughs> Tifas with Tonfas. We should, we should be targeting the Archangel. That's the one doing the buff and debuffing. I assume.
Incentive chips are, are a small change now. When I was farming it yesterday, like just farming in between streams, I was finding items that were selling for over a hundred thousand. Incentive chip cookies, that sounds delicious and profitable. I'm all about it. Only a credit chip. Yeah, you can kill the Archangel really fast. He's good. Is it not a is it not a tonfa? Is it just like a stick? She's just holding a stick. Like ninja style. I would think he would hold a baton normal. Oh, before I get to the save point, what happens? Another squad. <coughs> okay. What are they up to? Uh, they're up to staring at the Ark of the Covenant and die. No, what? All of them? Just like that? <laughs> A friendly reminder, we're running on borrowed time. Hum. Well, okay. The blue boss way back, or the guy just standing? Is there someone nearby? Also, what's a power glove? Is this good? Power glove. Oh, of course it's at the bottom. Strength plus 150. Oh, the one facing... Yeah, I don't think it was a boss. I think it was just a guy. I think it was just some guy. He was big, but... Eh. Also, I'm gonna spend these points.
All right, so a bunch of normal people just turn into Seaths just like that for no reason. We got the drop on them. That was the wrong person. Wow, that's terrible. Sacrifice it. <laughs> yeah, in the data log. Oh, wow. Did, did I do all that debuffing? Or do they just debuff themselves? Yeah, they're named Sacrifice, because they they just they were a bunch of guys standing around and they just turned into Seaths right in front of us. Like apparently the uh apparently the whatever it's called the bad thing. The Foul Sea. The cocoon Foul Sea is just turning things into uh like, it's not even giving him a focus. It's just like, oh, uh, your focus is to, uh, don't, don't exist. Uh-oh, you existed. You lose. You turn into a CF. We still, still got an hour. We might be death? Who's casting death, and why are they casting it on hope? Also, she doesn't look dead. She looks like she's just kneeling. <laughs> Power word, kneel. There's a death again. Not cool with that. Didn't kill her. It's nice enough to not pick on, on uh, Hope with the death. I would be quite upset. Uh, sometimes? Oh no, wait, who's who? The, the bad guys?
Like all the bad debuffs. I did not call it that hope. You're gonna squirm. You're gonna squirm. Oh yeah. So if if you scan it and it doesn't have any particular weakness, it seems like he for whatever reason they default to switching between elements. I don't know if it's just like to make the combat look cooler or what. It's especially annoying on characters who have physical attacks because uh, they'll sit there going, okay, I cast a spell and then I run up and attack and then I cast a spell and then I attack. And it's like that's much slower than just doing four of four of one or four of the other. Don't go back and forth doing one of each, but um, that's what their AI defaults to. Oh no, that's the boss we, we already fought. That's the last boss that we fought. It had uh, Roche inside. Is he still in there? Has he become one with Metal Gear? Did they fuse? Looks like no one was spared. <laughs> so, he it really was. wants us dead. Do I have... I scanned it last time. It's different now, I guess. It's a different enemy. Convince you to stop with the muon blaster. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. This isn't a time travel game. Not yet. Not till the third one. Aerial defense mode. No fair. I was about to stagger you. I was actually about to stagger you. Jerk. Oh no, are we healing it by mistake? Or no, that's me healing them. Charging 50%. Okay, I guess that's just you have to stagger it by then or else he does a super move. Worse, it could be a bismuth blaster, and then my audio would be ruined. One more attack. Oh no! Okay, so limiter, limiter is deactivated, and now there's nothing I can do. We're taking so much damage. 
what can be done about this? Okay, I guess we're okay now. Uh, annihilation mode seems... Oh, never mind. That's... It's just a dumb thing that he does. Alright, um... Stop switching, my god. Who does he think he is, me? Maybe since he took his limiters off, all I have to do is wait. And he'll just die himself from not following the instruction manual. Oh, we're gonna need more healing than this. Holy shit. When he starts charging, yeah, he's charging 25%. We gotta stagger him. Hopefully this doesn't just repeat. Like, if it repeats, then that means that this is a puzzle boss. And I need to figure something out besides just hitting him. He's stealing my line. That's been my line for ages. Even if it means my death, so be it. Final Fantasy XI. Now, before the stagger ends, I'm gonna heal up in case he goes like, "Oh yeah, I just, I just, uh, I just remove my limiter again." It was already off, but I'm gonna take it even more off. We can win this. How he's going to strike seems bad. Wow. Bah. <laughs> Retaliatory strike. All the guns shoot hope over and over until he's dead. That is what happened. That is accurate. This is a smart way of going about it. Actually buff up, including Protect and Shell. All guns shoot hope over and over forever. It would be nice if there was a way to reposition your guys. There doesn't seem to be. And they will frequently stand in formations that are bad and dumb. Okay, alright, doing it, doing it. Doing it, doing it. I'm gonna 
and remove his limiter at the end of his stagger. Some things you just do. No, he didn't? Just a retaliatory strike? Alright. Renew the protecting shells. Don't want them to ever run off. Run yeah. off. So what did I do different last time? That he enraged, or not enraged, but removed limiters. Oh my god, charging 90% That's bad. Okay, we stagger him. I think this guy was being cross-examined in a Phoenix Wright game. There's the limiters. Muons I had heard of. Peons or Pions I had not. Oh, jeez. It was not fast enough. Oh, I should have done that different. I should have just used Renew. This isn't fair. Hmm. I don't think it's a level issue. I think it is just he's he's a tough boss that you're supposed to pay a lot of attention to the damage coming out. This is a lot of damage. I know, unfortunately, I only have one paradigm to have Fang go and and de debuff people. I don't have room for the other, for, like... Don't give up. <laughs> we can win this. Thank you, sir. Yeah, true. But like, I I worry that like is the problem that I there's levels right, but in this game there's also the gear upgrade system, and sometimes I'm kind of like. I don't know if I was supposed to do way more with upgrading my gear. Or, like, choosing a different type of weapon, right? They get the different, um... You got weapons that are like, oh, okay, this one staggers the enemy more easily. This one has higher magic. This one improves your, uh, counterattacks. Like, there's a bunch of different choices there that I've just said, okay, everybody just use their default weapon, and I'll upgrade it if I need to. Everything else is like a side grade. It's horizontal progression instead of vertical. Which is okay. Right, now we'll spend a little bit of time healing up. While continuing to attack.
territory strike, that seems bad. Can I have her tank? Is that gonna do it? Charging 50%. I think we'll stagger him in time still, even with only two of us attacking. I guess. Yeah, we did. I also, as, as usual, don't actually know. Alright, there's the limiters deactivated. So yeah, maybe now now is when I need to um, debuff him. But that means switching over to only having one healer temporarily. And while we do that, I guess I will renew the protect and shell. She do it? I don't even know if she did it. He looks like he's still buffed. She had like 10 turns to debuff him. Maybe he can't be debuffed. Also, holy god. <laughs> the stork. Yeah, he still has those. I think he can't be dispelled. It was a nice thought. Blasters, alright. And I think her being in Sentinel also makes us take reduced damage from AoEs. I'm just guessing. I might have made that up. Oneric Maelstrom? Maelstorm? Muon Storm? Ion Storm? <gasps> it's Ion Storm! Yes, it's Daikatana. Charging 25%. We're in full offense. We'll easily get rid of this. Oh, we're not hasted anymore. That's a problem. Stagger that fool! I guess I figured it out? I don't know, though. It still seems like I could be doing better. <laughs> he's a quarter dead, but he's fading fast. Yeah, this, this retaliatory strike where he just keeps zapping non-stop seems like... I, I don't know how you would do this fight with only one healer. And without a, a, like a buff. Yeah, you... Oh my god, he's charged 90%. I'm sorry, we lost. Is there anything I can do to stop him? Or... Or does charging just mean... Have I been wrong this whole time? Charging just means that he's about to change forms? Hmm. 
Nobody knows. Bring it on. Gotta stay in control. Come on. We can win this. Just run all up. Run directly into the muons. He should have been staggered just now. He's not. I was charging again. Easy stagger. Easy stagger, easy life. Okay, I, I only just realized we didn't give him those debuffs. When he turns off the limiters, it's damage up, magic up, haste, and reduced defense and magic defense. That's the effect of him taking the limiters off, I see now. First try every third try. Rush, it's over. Coughing, the main symptom of, of my soldiers. <laughs> Haven't you done enough? Enough. Under Falsi orders, I've orchestrated mass murder, all to answer the fears of a panicked populace. For a people utterly dependent on the Falsi, it was the only solution I could offer, even if that solution was a farce. Then a farce? You knew the Falsi were using us. I believe their rule was best for Cocoon's present and future prosperity. But it seems I misjudged their benevolence. If this is my punishment, I accept it. So, you're just gonna let everything go to hell, is that it? Uh, no, he's, he's like, uh, right. I was gonna die, if that's okay. One thing remains. He's gonna die from the, the seven million damage of wounds you inflicted on me? This is... This is Psycom Director Rosh. Attention all Psycom and Guardian Core units. Suspend the sea operations. I repeat. Suspend the sea operations. All units should focus their efforts on evacuating the civilian population. I do not issue this order as an absolute. You are free to make the choice. That's how the military works. Uh, oh, Ross, go. You're here to save Cocoon, aren't you? This is your commanding officer. Do whatever you want. Free time. Stay alive. We'll see you when it's over. Trust in your humanity, Lissy. The fate of Cocoon is in your hands. <laughs> this 
This is my end. The end which I have chosen. One grenade? That's only gonna deal like 50,000 damage. That's nothing. If I had a grenade that could kill two behemoths in one hit, you should have gave it to me. What did you hang on to it for? Didn't you want me to win? This jerk. He's holding out on me. All right, so we have defeated we have defeated the mega boss. Mergic, Mergic, Health, Health, Mergic, you know, a lot of Mergic. Oh, is I not working on anything anymore? Save, and we'll go a little bit further. I was thinking of ending right there after we just beat that guy, but maybe the like we'll get some chat, some cutscenes in the chapter will end. But I think that would, that would be too short for chapter twelve. Chapter twelve started with us like landing on the the Grand Prix. I don't think this is the end of it already. We got a little further to go. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was right. Where's the cavalry? If they made it this far, we'll see him soon enough. So where are we? Did the room transform or did we go somewhere? Are we on the Dunamis? <laughs> this is it. A lot of dreams died to get us here. And we can't let it be for nothing. You said it. It's not just our future we're fighting for. <laughs> we'll do it for everyone. Thalsi rule ends here. Dysley, we're coming! 
for you. Time to move. The Tesseract. It's a good name, Tesseract. Did we get a new shop? Like completely new shop? How we can buy these now? Can I sell those? Oh, they're not worth much. They cost a lot to buy, but they don't sell for much. be like failing us? Is that gonna work better? I wonder if this place is going to be really annoying to fight in. Like, if I have to fight these guys all the time. Also, they don't seem to be attacking me, so we'll go all out. You guys have a lot of hit points. It, even if... Even if the fight is, I guess, not super tough, it's still annoying having to fight four of them. Floating hexagons landscape. There are hexagons, but only a few. Did Mass Effect have that? Was that the final... at the end of Mass Effect 2? Were there a lot of floating hexagons? I feel like there might have been. Scarletite? Do I need that to upgrade Hope's weapon? No. Whatever I need for his, uh, I don't have it. I'm gonna sell my banana chocobo, though. Thirty-five thousand. All right. <laughs> I guess we'll take that out too.
Or maybe that's the secret. Maybe I, I need to de-shell and imperil them. So each one after it dies, if the next one is not properly debuffed, I will debuff it. We will save and, and quit that. Well, no. Let's go ahead. The next save point that I get to. Instead of. I took all the trouble of clearing that room. We won't save there and then respawn them. Three sisters? Is it really, though? The Magus sisters? You stopped playing. It's the last chapter. So this is what we get instead of an airship. Uh, like this is our away. hub. Now's our chance. So guys, which way are we going? No tutorial. Just follow your instincts. Oh wait, that's where we that's where we came from. What do you think? What do you think? All right, so that's progress. That might even be like, okay, there's the final boss, but <laughs> now we're not final boss. That's silly. I think so, yeah. Disc read it. So poor. Push the do the thing. There. Where does the other one go? Why did they put them so far apart? Eden Hall. Like the place where we just were? I'm not going there. So yeah, in in other Final Fantasy games, later in the game they would give you an airship to go like, hey, now you can you can fly around and easily revisit all of the places that you have been and the places that you haven't been. They kind of waited until last minute and said, okay, well, there's there's one place that we made that you can go back to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they called their headquarters Eden Hall. It's like they knew. 
I ain't never broke an airship. So we'll save and quit there. Um, I'm trying to think if maybe, maybe I should just start La Mulana like right away. Like if I started on Saturday and I spend like a couple of days off stream grinding Grand Pulse, because there's a, like a bunch of stuff that you can do here that I don't think I'm going to want to stream, where it's just like, oh yeah, you know, kill a bunch of guys. Um, hang on, what chapter, what chapter am I actually in? When I went to save just now, okay, I'm in chapter 13. I'm in chapter 13, so maybe the... Hmm. I think that's what I'll do then. Saturday can be... Actually, you know what? I think... Maybe no stream Saturday. Because I have a feeling, uh, like, people will be around to play 14, so... Let's do Sunday instead. La Mulana 2 on Sunday, and then Tuesday, we'll jump back into this... Maybe finish it up. Maybe it'll need another stream. I don't know. Is it? Okay. Not Sunday, then. How about we come back to this on Sunday? Yeah. All right. No, 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 no. I, I actually... I don't want to, though. Because that's part of... That was... <laughs> like, number number five on the list of things that are making it difficult for me to figure out what I want to do next stream-wise is I was also like, I don't want to go, well, I'll throw in a couple of La Mulana days and have them be days that uh, the people who want to watch it most won't be able to show up. <laughs> not not just you, but Volton Phase, too. like, a lot of people... I feel like Sunday is probably the day when the least people, least number of people show up, kind of. Maybe. Yeah, let's, let's do more of, let's do more of this on Sunday. I'll be able, I'll still be able to get some grinding and do it on Sunday. Tuesday, La Mulana 2. Final. All All right, so thank you everybody for being here. More games, more games eventually. <laughs>